Hi, welcome to Free Accounting Software. My name is Glenn Hasselman. In this video, I'm going to show you one method of handling multiple bank accounts. And um, this method involves setting up a new organization for the additional bank account. Now, this is the correct way to do it if you are holding funds on behalf of clients. So let's say you're an accountant, lawyer, real estate agent, or a travel agent, and you're holding funds on behalf of um, your clients then you've got to keep it completely separate from your own financials. So in this example, I'm going to set up as a travel agent. Now you don't want to use the standard chart of accounts um, because that'll have all profit and loss type things. And even if you are registered for GST, don't click this GST registration. Um, okay, now You'll need to set up a tax code because the system keeps asking for one, so we'll just set up one called Not Applicable. Okay, now we haven't um, set up any accounts yet, so we'll need to do that. Okay, and the account is going to be the client's name rather than um, the nature of the expense. Okay, so let's set up another one. So we've got two clients, a client A and a client B. Okay, now um, entries for this bank account are just entered pretty much as normal in the cash worksheet. Um, so let's say um, we receive some money from uh, client A because client A wants us to organize their holiday. So, let's say client A is going to go on a holiday. Um, it's going to cost a total of $2,000 and we post it to client A. Alright, great. So, you can see that, you know, the $2,000 is coming into the trust account there um, and we can, you know, start to reconcile this um, bank account. Now, um, let's say, you know, we've got multiple clients, keep it interesting. Um, and, you know, we've got, let's say, a, a client B. So, client B um, is going on a, uh, on a holiday. Um, let's say it's a holiday to UK, and it's going to be a great holiday because it costs $10,000. Um, and we post that into client B's account. Now, um, I'm not really sure how travel agents work, but I sort of imagine that at this point they go and organize everything and they have to make some disbursements for this. So, um, you know, they've got the $10,000. Let's say they're doing client B, they've got the $10,000 from client B and they're going to... Um, organize the tickets um, to Europe and I guess they, they're probably flying Qantas let's say um, so um, let's say these cost five thousand dollars we're paying it out of client B's account okay So you can see all the transactions just, you know, go into the cash worksheet as per normal. Um, let's have a look at the balance sheet. You can see currently got $7,000 there. Um, I've set this up wrong. Client B is showing in the assets section. So um, just change that. It should be a liability. Okay, so you can see that the benefit of doing this this way is that um, you can see that you've got a certain amount of cash in the bank and uh, that exactly balances with the um, amounts that you're holding on behalf of the clients as it should in a um, when, you, when you're when you holding client funds. Uh, if we click on the accounts, we can see that um, the uh, 
trans transactions I've entered are coming in here and if we had to give a statement to client B of what we've done with their money we could give them this okay so let's just go and finish it off so um, let's say client um, so we're still working on the client B holiday um, to Europe let's do um, uh, let's say we're going to book their accommodation for them um, might put the hotel's name so, and this costs um, let's say four thousand five hundred dollars and um, it's being paid out of client B's funds alright now probably one other payment that you might make is a payment to yourself as um, having completed the job and earned the fees fees earned uh, $500 Excellent. So we've still got some money in the bank, which is actually all belonging to client A. Um, and we can reconcile this against our bank account. So we select all. We'll just double check, of course, that the um, actual balance of the bank account is $2,000 on the 31st of um, January before we click post reconciliation. All right. Now, having a look at the balance sheet, you can see that uh, we've got $2,000 is all belonging to client A and uh, client B has zero so but we'll still just click on there to see what it is so you can see the detail of the transactions uh, that we've made on behalf of client B and the um, you know we could give them this as a statement now uh, another thing you can do is actually just uh, click select all and uh, reconcile so this can um, enable you to sort of offset the ins and outs and it's hidden the reconciled transactions so sometimes not everything is um, reconciled you might have like a, a second holiday to book for client B uh, if you want to see all the history you can click um, sorry the one his one month history link and you can see all the things that have gone on in there um, even though they are reconciled um, you can also you know, uh, select any date and see what's sitting in that account as at that time. Okay, um, so I think this is the best best method to um, to use when um, um, holding funds on behalf of clients. Um, you definitely shouldn't really be mixing it up in the same organization or organization's ledger as your actual business hope the hope the video has been useful and thank you for watching